Hey everyone, Church of SDFU. Uh, so I mean, often we hear things like, you know, violence has gone down, people live longer these days, you know, average life expectancy and so on and so forth. So less people are getting killed in war or by illness or something. And there's obviously some people that are making kind of the opposite argument that violence has gone up. But let's just say violence is going down. Um, in a way, it's absolute figures that matter, not relative figures. If you have a billion people and you have 1% of them dying violently, that's in one important way still worse than if you have 100 people and 10% of those die violently. That 1% of a billion people is still a lot more people. And each of those people, in a way, is like a universe unto themselves. These people, their suffering is undiluted by the fact that there are more proportionally other people who don't suffer. Um, it's, it doesn't make it, you know, it doesn't alleviate their suffering. It doesn't make their situation any more just, just because other people... Uh, more other people in like a relative sense are not suffering. So really, every single person suffering in absolute terms is a scandal and needs to be addressed. What I'm trying to say here is that I think there's a lot of times excuses are made on the basis that we're progressing. We're, we're doing relatively this or this much better than we were a thousand years ago or a hundred years ago, or fifty years ago. You know, I mean, in one sense, that's okay. In one sense, well, there's only so good that we can do, right? Um, we can't stop some natural catastrophe from, you know, we can't stop the earthquake from hitting and someone being trapped in the rubble and dying, like suffocating or dying of thirst over days, being trapped in a claustrophobic environment and suffering the most horrible suffering that any humans ever imagined. We can't really stop that from happening. We don't have that power over the universe. Um, but if we do, then it's our... it's a demand upon us that we try, and just because we make the rest of society feel somewhat better doesn't actually excuse us from not having alleviated someone's suffering. How that, I guess, affects the world is, you know, I mean, first of all, we should, you know, we should <laughs> really be stopping um, the growth of the population because we can't actually address the suffering of the population as it is. As the population gets bigger, it just suffers more. Um, but, you know, we don't really have the means to do that in a way that makes sense. So, you know, we don't have any good way of stopping the world population from expanding right now and all the ways we do have are probably going to cause more damage than they would fix. But I think what is more important, what is more kind of, uh, what impacts or should impact more is the responsibility because we don't have a mechanism of doing that directly necessarily today. We can't stop the population from growing. We can't stop the absolute number of people that are suffering right now. But we should always be reminded of the fact that that should be the ultimate goal. That it's never good enough. It's never good enough to say that, well, you know, we've helped. The improvement is going at this rate. Things are fine. They're never fine while people are still suffering. If a single person is still suffering terrible agonies and everyone else in the world is fine and dandy, that is still a horrible situation. Because what if you're that person? That person, that person's entire universe is suffering. Because that person's entire universe is subjectively their universe coming out of their eyes. To them, the rest of the world is completely unimportant. So, whilst there is still a single person out there in the world 
that could be helped that is not being helped to the maximal amount that we're not doing our very utmost to support and help while we're in a position to do so as long as that's still the case we're being negligent we're being negligent in a way that really disrespects our shared humanity and in a way that is really quite disgusting to me personally <laughs> at the same time to some extent uh, disrespecting that is human nature because we are more con concerned about the universe that goes on in our own heads I am as everyone else is um, so the enormous suffering of someone else seems a lot less important than the tiny little bit of discomfort to ourselves um, that's at least on like a, like that's what comes naturally but that's why we need to challenge it we need to realize that that's not how it really works that person in there that real person that could have been us that is suffering all of these agonies that person kind of condemns and shows up all of humanity for the for the unethical lackluster beings we are and if we want to progress beyond that if we want to progress beyond being just pathetic self-interested creatures we have to find every one of the people that are suffering terrible agonies right now I'm not talking about the people that are slightly worse off in the first instance we have to identify the people that are really suffering and we have to help them whatever the cost as long as it doesn't pull more people into that kind of suffering discomfort to ourselves is perfectly justified in the mission to decrease the amount of horrific suffering in the world the absolute amount not the relative amount the absolute number if there are a million people today suffering terrible pains in the world and that million people is many many times the original population of homo sapiens on this planet and that's a horrible thing we need to address it we need to fix it and we're not going to fix it today or tomorrow but I think that should be the goal that should be the goal not 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 you know not decreasing relative suffering not in not economic growth not reaching Mars it should be eliminating that suffering and it may be a goal that we can never quite achieve but it's the asymptotic goal that to me seems the most worthwhile eliminate that complete suffering that horrible agony to whatever extent we can and I think it'll it'll obviously benefit the people that need to be benefited the people that are suffering the people that should be the most important but I think it'll benefit society at large and it'll do us good in every way because once we do that once we make that our goal we'll finally will finally transcend kind of our primal egotistical nature that divides us from other people and doesn't understand that uh, really all that separates us from looking out of their eyes and being in their body and undergoing what they undergo is fortune luck Anyways, treasure vest if you, I'll see you guys all.